Hey everybody, I am back in the Smoky Mountains and I am going to do a hike today, Jake's Creek Trail up to the Advent Cabin. Now I'll tell you about that as we go along, but uh, run into a little stumbling block right here off the main road. As you can see, it is blocked off. So we're gonna have to walk up the road which is probably going to be about a mile and a half to get to the Elkmont campground. Probably another mile and a half or so to get to our trail we need to be on. So we'll see how it goes. I've got these barricades across the road. A lot of the Smokies is open, a lot of it is not. So we're just going to go around the barricade and go on about our way. Walk up this road for probably a mile and a half or so, maybe two. And then we might be able to get to the trailhead. So we like about another half mile to be to the campground. <coughs> so that's put us, uh, not too bad in here. I'm thinking that this road being closed is gonna cost us about an extra three miles. So I'm assuming instead of a short hike today, I think it's going to be more like a six or seven miler. Which that still ain't too bad, you know. That's kind of a short hike for most people. But not as short as it could have been. Anyway, got Courtney with me today. And Lucas is way over there reading a sign or something. So another half mile up this road. Maybe we'll be there. Okay, we finally made it to the trailhead. Oh, pretty good walk. The main highway but we're right here at the jake's creek trailhead and we're gonna go up through there we'll see a lot of old cabins up through there there's not much left but old foundations and chimneys and then when we get on the path that we need to be on and as you can see on the way up through here you'll see a lot of these old chimneys from the old house the old elkmont park that would have been the front porch and it's just chimney 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 right here on the river and right over there a little gravel area that was the old railroad bed that's actually how we're walking up uh, there was a really bad train wreck on there killed some people and yeah, it turned out to be a big mess that was a little river railroad company but this community a lot of history in this community here i love this place this is Jake's Creek Trail in Elkmont in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. So we're still walking up this old railroad bed right here. So we'll get off of it here in a little bit, but the story of the Advent Cabin, which is where we're going, back in 1850, somewhere in there, the Ombies built that cabin. The Ombies was a big family here in, the, in these mountains at that time and somewhere around the early 1900s very early 1900s Mena Advent husband bought the cabin and some land around it and uh, Mena was a painter and she used it as her studio so she had a big window put in it so she could see it and look out the mountains and get her inspiration. But uh, I'd say 10 years or so, maybe a little less, after Mena had moved in, the Park Service bought the land and it became the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Mena stayed, got to stay a little while after that, somewhere I think around 1940 maybe. And then she had to leave and, eventually passed away but if you're in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington DC Mena has paintings in there today so she was actually a famous painter so we're going to be up there in a little ways and we'll check out the cabin I debated where or not give to show how to get here because some people get lost coming up through here but I decided against it because when I do that, it seems like 
you have more traffic coming in now and some people just vandalize and destroy and graffiti's everywhere so i kind of decided against that on this one but if you're interested in how to get this cabin or this hike uh, if you pm me i'll help you get up here it's not that bad of a hike especially when the main road's open but today we had to do a, quite a bit of a hike so but we're going to keep going up this old road rail bed and we're going to turn off onto an unmarked trail it's not on no park maps nothing like that going to the advent cabin so when we get over there i'll show you around a little bit y'all having fun oh yeah <laughs> Okay, we're on this little side trail now. It comes down in here. And it's, the trail's really kind of almost a creek, but you'll come to this footbridge. If you don't come to a footbridge, you've took the wrong side trail. And there's a lot of side trails, so you've got to come to this footbridge to be on the right place. Anyway, let's see if we can get across this. Let me see if I can walk across it with you. Share the experience. Only on Wendell World. Now, the log does jump a little. Beautiful out here. It's kind of grew up because not a lot of people go on this, so you know, just be mindful, watch for snakes, things. So, after going through all that, you'll see the only sign to the Advent cabin, and it's going to be right beside the cabin. A lot of history in that cabin. Let's go check that thing out. So let me go ahead and show you around the inside right here when you come in. And you see there's a little bed here, little bed thing, and a little corner cupboard I think's neat. And they leave some brooms and rakes here to, for you to help kind of clean up the area. And the doors has these rocks and kind of keeps them closed up. But you can move those rocks and come in. And just when you leave, make sure you replace those rocks. It keeps the snakes out. There's a lot of snakes and varmints in here, but when we first came in here and we were sitting down here looking around, we did hear something upstairs now, people. And I know you hear this all the time, but we we may hear something on on video here, I'm hoping. But anyway, this is a very cool place. All these logs are popular logs. They're all hand hewed. This cabin was built by the Omis in 1850. And this is pretty much the way it looked when Main Abbott lived here. And around the 1920s, Maina had that big window put in. Her son put that window in. You don't see a window like that in a 1850 cabin. But being her being a painter, she wanted to, an artist. She sat here and got her inspiration through this window. And it's amazing that what she looked out on for her inspiration you're seeing right now through my video and her paintings went on to be in the Smithsonian in Washington DC from right here in the Smoky Mountains that's a long way away but you can go and now these steps they didn't have much for the way of steps back in because the steps took up too much room in the cabin so we'll, we'll go up here and look around just a little bit this would have been that little area where she slept, a little loft. And there's an old bed there, but it looks like an old table. May have used that table herself or some art supplies or whatever. Just a cool place. Look at that beam. You see the hand chopped, hand chopped in it. I'll take you around and show you outside here in a minute. 
I'm gonna walk out through here and show you the porch. Luke was telling me something. Anyway, and when you go out here on the back porch, man, I had a little kitchen area built in here. You can see the little stove and the nice windows, big windows for a cabin, a little sink. And this is something you don't see in any cabin. If you look through this book right here, you'll see some some of the pictures and some paintings that Mena did. There's some watercolors that Mena did. And you're gonna come on and you're gonna see the uh, Department of Conservation, Nashville, Tennessee. You'll find the paperwork where this is on the National Historic Register, National Register of Historic Places. You won't find that in a historic place. This is it. Avent Mena Studio Avent Cabin, Jakes Creek Trail near Elk Mall. So this is a complete book that you can sit here and read that you don't find in a lot of these places. Some plans. So this is a pretty detailed deal here. And you can get in there and look at some of her paintings and some pictures of whenever they were here. There's a lot of information right there. You want to take time to read through that. And then there's also this book that you can sign your name in. And I'm going to sign this in as Wendell's World. What is day? 16th. I like this one here. Somebody wrote, COVID can't get us down. 5-16-2020. <laughs> Rock and roll. So, you guys want to sign the book? Yeah. So they're doing that, I'll show you some of these paintings. Look at this, people. Huh? Very skillful. And that's a picture of mine right there. Some old pictures that she had. Look at that. A very talented lady. But if you're looking around, this have seen some old pottery and stuff that people's found laying around and left in here. These old pots and just different things that makes it even more interesting. So it's a really neat place. You need to come and check this place out. I'll show you around out back and around the house as we get ready to leave. So just hang around and watch that. Okay, well, there's the cabin. We're on the back side of it. There's the little kitchen part. And if you come back here where Courtney's sitting, check out this old rock. It kind of looks like a, a little chair. Mayna may have come out here and sit in the shade of the summertime. But anyway, remember to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video.